Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Ripple. Remember, Ripple is an emulator that allows you to take your HTML5 JavaScript, your WebWorks applications, and emulate them through the Chrome browser so you can see how they're going to look and run. Today, I'm going to talk about what you need in order to run Ripple. We're going to look at where you need to go to get Ripple. And finally, we're going to go through the installation process. So let's start with what we need. What we need in order to install Ripple is a computer. I took this off of the HTML5 WebWorks page on developer.blackberry.com. You need a computer with a processor, an Intel Pentium 4 or AMD Athlon processor. We suggest 2 gigahertz or faster. You'll need 1 gigabyte or more of hard disk space, 2 gigabytes of RAM, resolution of 1024 by 768 or higher. You'll also need to be running on Windows XP, at least SP3, 32-bit, or Windows 7, 32-bit or 64-bit, or if you're running on a Mac, Mac OS X, 10.6.4 or later. Okay, so if you've got that, what do you need to install Ripple? Well, you also need to install the Google Chrome browser because Ripple is a Chrome plugin. Once you have the Chrome browser, go ahead and launch the Chrome browser and go to developer.blackberry.com. There you'll see our front page for developer.blackberry.com. Click the HTML5 WebWorks button over here on the right and then click the Tools button. Under the tools, we're going to work in BlackBerry 10 beta. So we're going to scroll down a little bit and we see right here, the Ripple emulator makes development easy as pie. Mmm, pie. Okay, so let's go ahead and download the emulator. So we click, brings up our download box. Five seconds left, four seconds. So it's downloading a file, ripple underscore UI dot CRX. Okay. Now, you're going to get this little pop-up that says extension apps and user scripts are added to Chrome Web Store. You can go ahead and click OK and, um, and kind of ignore that. Over here on the right, click the three little bars. Then select Tools and Extensions. And that will open your Extensions pane. Now, go to your Download window. Click and drag the Ripple UI CRX file. Release. It'll ask you if you want to add it, and click Add. Just like that, you've installed the Ripple emulator. Now, let's make sure it works. So we'll go to localhost.zenlari.com. My favorite, uh, hmm, doesn't really look like Ripple, does it? Well, of course not, because we've installed it, but we haven't activated it. So over here, click on the Ripple button, and that'll drop down the Ripple Mission Control Panel. Click Enable to enable Ripple. It's going to ask you to agree to the user agreement. I will agree, and we're running Ripple. Now, one other thing I want to tell you now that Ripple is installed is if you bring this menu down again, you'll notice now here that there is an option to start the Ripple services automatically. You'll need the Ripple services when you go to package your apps using Ripple. So you can turn that on or off based on your situation. Okay, great. So... What do we need to install Ripple? In order to install Ripple, we took the information from the developer.blackberry.com website. Basically, we need a computer running a modern operating system, a couple gigabytes of RAM or more. Where do we get Ripple? To get Ripple, you pop on out to developer.blackberry.com, click the HTML5 WebWorks button, click Tools, and there you'll see the button to download the Ripple extension. Installing Ripple, incredibly easy. Bring up your Chrome browser, click on the Tools, then the Extension menu, then drag the CRX file to Chrome, and then enable Ripple. Okay? All right, that's all there is to it. I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion. And we'll talk again.